He said Jacob he loved and Esau he hates. Malachi 1 and 4. Wait, let me see those words. I gotta see that. Let him see. Yeah, go ahead. Right there for me. Yeah. My bad. Yeah, I ain't trying to be dumb. Check it out. Check it out. Book of Romans, chapter nine, verse thirteen. Read it. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Of the earth. A black man, by the way, which you went over earlier. Read. 
of whom come we all? Everybody, red, yellow, black, and white, descend from Adam, right? Read. And the people. And the what? And the people. And the people, read. Also, whom thou hast chosen. Now there's a people that God chose. He said that I got everybody, I made everybody, but there's a people I chose. Let's see who God chose, Isaiah 44. Come on. Isaiah 44 and 1. The people that God had chosen. We're going to come back to it. I want one question after that. Hang on to it. Keep it in your thoughts. If you got any questions, keep it in your thoughts. That's what we're here for. Right. We're here to answer the question. We're not to Christian pastors. We're not running from questions. That's why we're here. Come on. You know what I want? The, the show. Book of, come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 1. Read. Huh? Yet. Now hear, O Jacob, my servant. Jacob the servant, Israelite, read. And Israel. And Israel, who I have chosen. Israel, who I have chosen. The 12 tribes of Israel was That's chosen. right. Now go back. Uh, okay. Go yes. back. Well, we want to ask you a question. I was giving you a precept. A precept right. so you can understand when I read that scripture and keep it in this context. All right? Okay. Six, 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 because you know what? We've all been taught lies. We've been here for 400 years, serving our enemies. They told us God was white. They told us the angels was white. Right. They told us the Israelites were white. Right. But we got the truth. What is the truth? That God is a black man. Jesus Christ is a black man. His people are black people. Please God. Come on. Okay, and second chapter 6, verse 54. Read. And after thee, all Adam also. Read. Whom thou madest Lord, of all thy creatures. Come on. Of whom come we all? We all come from Adam. Read. And the people also, whom thou hast chosen. Who is he chosen? Israelite. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord. Read. Because thou made the world for our sake. The world was made for y'all brothers to rule it. Read it again. Now the world. For all this, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou made the world for our sake. Read. And for the other people. Now for the other people you're talking about, the white man, the Arab man, the uh, the African man, Chinese. all right, the real Hamites, the Canaanites, all of them. He said, what about them? Which also come about them. Come on. But thou hast said. God has said. They are nothing. God has said what? They are nothing. No, that can't be the Bible. Hey, hey, you want to see it again? Come no, on. I just want to ask my family question. I'm a, I, 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 he I, said they are nothing. Well, watch if it goes further. Read. But be what? Like, be like a spittle. He said they're like spit compared to you. What's the name of that book you read? It's called the Apocrypha. It's part of the Bible. The King James 1611 oh, Bible. Okay, it was taken Bible. out by uh, the Council of Church. All right? Why was it taken out? It was taken out. You wonder why it was taken out? Give me for a second because the Because the Apocrypha shows you who the white man is in it. That's why they wanted it out. Hey, I got to answer one question at a time. All right? You asked me God love everybody. I told you God don't. So before I go further, give me John 3.16. Hold that, give me John 3.16. I know what got you stuck. I know what got you stuck. We got to deal with John 3.16 because that's what got you stuck. Right? You are, hey, my sister, what's your name? What's your name, sir? Veronica. Veronica. Guess what? My whole life, when I went to church, I was taught God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Right. And whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Right. Why nobody that explained two verses of what it was saying? You know what John 2, 3, 14 is saying? How you know John 3, 16, but you know 3, 14? I never said I need no either. Okay, but can I show you what it says so you can get what? Context, right? Read John chapter 3, verse 16 first. The book of John chapter 3, verse 16. Read. For God so loved the world. Come on. That he gave his only begotten son. Stop. All right. What does the word world mean? Anybody know what world means? What world means? Huh? No. See, what you thinking is planet. You thinking earth. Reality. World does not mean that. World means people with a common interest. I think it's a, it's a common interest. That's what world means. For example, you got the sports world. Anybody who plays sports? It's the sports world. You got the sea world. All the fishes and the, the whales and everything in the sea. 
Do you see what that's doing? You got work. The entertainment world, they got the movies, the directors, the producers, and all that. They're a world within themselves. I'm not a, uh, I'm not a singer or a dancer, so I'm not in the entertainment world. They in it, not you. Guess what? His world is the world in itself. Isaiah 45, 17. Let me show you what the world is. The book of Isaiah, means. chapter 45, verse 17. Check it out, read. But Israel, but who? But Israel. Read it again. But who? But Israel. But Israel, read. Shall be saved in the Lord. Come on. With an everlasting salvation. Read. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded. Now watch this. He said, Israel shall be saved, right? Watch what he calls Israel. Read. World. What? World. What did he call him? World. Read. Without end. Israel is the world without end. John 18, 20. I'm going to show you another precept to prove we that world he talked about in John 3, 16. Bring it out. You think it's talking about everybody. The Bible is being lied and hid from you. That's why you see the preacher with it in his hand, but he's not reading it. Right. He's not breaking it down. We're going to we get into all that. Let's do it one at a time. You got beautiful questions, bro. I see y'all hungry. And that's why we're here. Read. The book of John, the book of St. John, chapter 18, verse 20. Remember, we talk about the world again, right? I'm going to read it again in the New Testament. The New Testament, who the world is. Read. Jesus answered him. Come on. I spake openly to the world. I spake openly to the who? I spake openly to the world. To the world, right? Read. I ever taught in the synagogue. In the synagogues. Read. The building. Read. And in the temple. Read. Whether the Jews. Whether the who? Whether the Jews. Whether the who? Who's in that world? Whether the Jews, the Jews, read, always resort. Come where the Jews always, that's the world. The world is the Israelites. Go back to John 3.16. We're going to finish it. John 3.16, you know? And in secret, come on, read. And in secret, how about saying nothing? Go back to John 3.16. Get back to John 3.16. Why? Because y'all need to know when they said God so loved the world, what he was talking about. According to their character. So, not even every African American is directed at Hebrew Israelite. Maybe by, by origins, by birth, but not by, by character. We're going to get into that. Because guess what would separate an Israelite? All, all blacks and Hispanics out here are Israelites. But what would stop you from getting the kingdom? Not keeping his commandments. And we're going to get that. And we're going to prove that. We gonna, you know, so you know you're an Israelite, right? We're going to prove that. We're going to prove if you are. Come on, y'all got questions. Let me answer this one. And we're going to move to the next one. Come on. For God so loved the world. Read. That he gave his only begotten son. Come on, we know the world is Israel. Read. That whosoever Come on. believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So who's whosoever? Whosoever mean everybody? Does whosoever mean everybody? All right. Give me whosoever. Acts 221. Now, now this is what I want y'all to see. If you in your house, right? I'm not, I'm not, I don't live in your house. We both black men, but I don't live in your house. If you got a sign on your refrigerator that said, don't drink all my orange juice, did you mean that for everybody outside or the people inside your house? Everybody. You made it for the people inside your house because that's who live in there. Why would I drink your orange juice and I don't live in your house? You made that note for those who come in there that who live in your house, don't touch Brian's orange juice because that's who Brian. I mean to die for not being in Brian's house because I live in New Orleans East. But you may live uptown somewhere, right? The people that live in your house may be your wife, your children, your mother, your cousins, your family, all right? You would tell them, don't drink my stuff. I work hard all day. I will come over and drink this glass of orange juice. You made those rules for them inside your house. The Bible is a black man's history book. That's right. These rules were made for you. That's right. But they took your book and claimed it to be theirs. Why you think you are even in a Gentile? Jesus. But you the Israelites according right. to the Bible. We still slaves though, right? As you say. We all read. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you something. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 21. Mr. Whosoever. Read. And it shall come to pass. Read. That whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord read. shall be saved. Watch this. Now watch who the whosoever. Read. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of who? Ye men of Israel. Read. Hear these words. These words were for you, you Israelites. These words are for you. The Israelites is the world in John 3, 16. The Israelites were supposed to be keeping God's commandments. Psalms 147 and verse 19. This Bible was for you always from the beginning until now. But now the book is being revealed to you again. Now your eyes being open to the truth. 
that Jesus Christ was your people and you were supposed to be ruling this planet. Not being a subject, not catching a buck, not smoking dope, not pimping out your sisters, not all of this, this garbage that's in America. You're not supposed to be part of that. You're supposed to be greater than that. Right. Brother, let me get the question. Give me, give me your question. Give me your question. Uh, I'll say we're still in slavery, right? Yes. But then slavery started 1619, right? Okay, but it so started the before that. ended. It actually started in 1492. So okay, that means the well, Okay, anyway, either way, it's still 400 year prophecy yes, up yes, already. Yes, listen to me, listen to me. This is the thing. You going by do what happened in the Egyptian prophecy. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, listen yeah, to yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Listen to me. I, I know what you're talking yeah, yeah. about. You talk about what happened in the Egyptian prophecy when it was prophesied. That the Israelites were going, Abraham promised his children were going to slavery for 400 but years. But never spoke on the black people. But watch this. Slavery? But watch this. I'm going to show you something. How long were the curses on the Israelites supposed to last if we didn't keep the command? That I don't know. Hosea 5 and 15. You was going to be in this position until you started keeping the commandments. You talking about the Egyptian captivity. There were, there were five major captivities. The Babylonian captivity. The Egyptian captivity. The Persian and Mede captivity, the Greek captivity, the Rome captivity. Guess what captivity we are not? The American captivity. That's where you at. And you're going to be in this hole until you keep God's law. That's right. Read what you got. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Read. I will go and return to my place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. He said, till. That's conditional. Till is a conditional word. I'm going to keep you punished until your grades go up. You're not going to be able to play the PS5 until you give me straight A's. Other than that, you ain't going to never play it. You're going to stay in slavery. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. Bring it out. You're going to stay in slavery until you keep, God, keep, keep God's commandments. That's the purpose of this thing. That's why you're suffering. That's what, what you got. He made a command, you know we're going to break it. Some of y'all going to break it. Some people going to hear it. Some people going to repent. The wicked and the foolish not going to repent. Let me tell you something. You got a great question. I'm going to read this scripture and I'm going to give you the, the precept exactly for what you just said. Read what you got. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are still in captivity. That's why they can shoot you in the street and nobody go to jail for it. That's right. right. That's why they could tell you when you go to the hospital, don't give the black woman anesthesia. That, that nigga can have a baby on her own. Do you know how many of our women died during childbirth? Because we not the doctors no more. Our enemy the doctors. Do you know how many of our people, our children are miseducated? Because the enemy is the teacher and not you. Y'all was supposed to be teaching our kids. We were supposed to be teaching our kids. Not a so-called white man. That's right. He hates your guts. Right. If he hates you, how you think he gonna treat you? Hey, that's something. Read. Read what you got. Behold, the book of Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Read. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Read. Where thou hast scattered us. We were scattered on the four corners of the earth. Where is that? Where is that? We're going to do history now. Now we're going to do history. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Y'all don't have the sun. We got, we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. When we came out of Egypt, out of Jerusalem in 70 AD, when we were talking about Titus and Vastation. This is history. Ask the white teachers at school what I'm about to talk about, that they don't talk about. We was in Jerusalem. They ran us out, and we were scattered in the four corners of the earth. From there, we went to Africa. We went to Africa. We got put on a cargo slave ship and sent to South America, uh, Australia, uh, America, Canada. That's why you got black folks everywhere. Right. We, they got black folks in China. Did you know that? I'm about to get running. I appreciate that wisdom y'all gave me. Hey, 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 now watch this. I got one thing. They got a question right. you had asked. What was that question you had asked? Where the white man come from? Where the white man come from? Where does the white man come from? Did he just fall out of the sky? Is he angelic? Is he an angel? Does he got supernatural powers? Why he keep deep the Israelites at the bottom? Give me Genesis 25. Let's go through it. I'm going to show you who the white man is in the Bible. Where he come from. Why he do, why he do what he do. And why he's so good at it? You understand? Because remember, for, the brother said 400 years, right? But we've been in slavery longer than 400 years. Still in slavery. Still in. Where's the guy? 21. 
In the book of Genesis, chapter 25, verse 21, and Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife uh -huh. because she was barren. All right. Our forefather Isaac, all right? Our forefather Isaac had his wife, all right? Rebecca. Rebecca was barren. But they prayed for a child. All right? Read. And the Lord was entreated of him. Read. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Come on. And the children struggled together within her. Now he said she got pregnant, and she said two, they struggled within her. What does struggle mean? What does struggle mean? Now what? Fight. Fight. Our people was fighting inside of the womb. We was never supposed to get along with these people. We were supposed to be ruling these people. Right. Read. And the children struggled together within her. Read. And she said, if it be so, why am I dumb? She said, if I'm supposed to be blessed being pregnant, why am I hurt? Why these kids fighting? Read. And she went to inquire of the Lord. Read. And the Lord said unto her, God told Rebecca, Three. Two nations are in thy womb. She said, you got two nations in your womb. Everybody know a black woman and a black man can have children of different colors. Right. We have albino kids, right? One be black albino and a child be, the child is still black, but they look white. Right. You understand? All nations that come from our wombs, we know that. That's scientific. We already know that. Read. And two men of people. Two different people. That's why I said two men of people. He said, these people will not be the same. Are y'all listening? Free. Shall be separated from thy vows. He said you're gonna be separated. These people are supposed to be separate. One will be a hundred, one will catch fish. Free, come on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. And he said one people is gonna be stronger than the other people. Who's stronger? Who, who dominates the sports world? Who dominates all matters of competition? The black man and black woman when we decide to take part in it. All right, we're going to dominate Olympic diving with the miss once we get the body ready to dive. You know what I'm saying? We're going to dominate that too when the time comes. Read. And the elder shall serve the younger. The elder shall serve the younger. So we got to find out who was born first. Because the elder means the child that was born before, right? The first child. Read. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Read. behold, there were twins in her womb. They call her twins. But not identical twins, but paternal twins. They look different, but they were born at the same time. Read. And the first came out red. What color did the first come out? And the first came out red. All right. All old. So guess what? The first came out red. Now we call them white people. But God said they're not white. God said they're red. When they get in the sun and it's too hot, what color do they turn? When they, when they get mad, what color do they turn? Green. Huh? Green, green. Their birds come out red. They're not white. White is this color. Red. They're different. They call them rednecks in the south. They even call themselves rednecks. Green. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Like a hairy And they're red and hairy. See if you take the Gillette razor from the white man, watch what he look like. The caveman. Captain Caveman. That's the white man. You ever seen the, uh, the, the commercial with their shirt? Or it's so easy even the game man could do it? Right. They let you know they're talking about themselves. Read. And they call his name Esau. What did they call this white man? And they call his name Esau. His name was called Esau. Read. And after that came his brother out. Now his brother come out next. Read. And his hand took hold on Esau's hill. Look at the picture. We, gave, we, like, we have a visual people, so we like to use picture and illustration of what you hear. He said he grabbed hold of his tail when he came out. He went, snatch, come here. Free. And his name was called Jacob. His name was called Jacob. Amen. Who is Jacob? The forefather of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.